see that. Today, a group of actors are auditioning for Ghostwriter, a comedy by David Tristram. So, uh, Mark, would you start off with Edward? I was about to pull the trigger when you came bursting in. There is um, an actress who apparently died of an overdose of drugs and booze, um, but she returns to her playwright husband a year later to say that she, it wasn't accidental and it wasn't suicide, she was actually murdered. She was a selfish, two-faced, obnoxious, whining old crow. The comedy revolves around the fact that the ghost can only be seen by her husband and none of the other characters. I don't remember sleeping with her. You see? No, you wouldn't. Apparently it's a very forgettable experience. <laughs> You need to watch what the other actors are doing and so that you can get good reactions to that and don't let the concentration drop, not even for a minute. Three months later, the selected actors have been learning their lines all summer, but there's still a long way to go. Oh, hey. Line? Mm. Alex is good enough to let you stay until I sort myself No, out. it's just no. temporary. It's just temporary. <laughs> It's almost like children before they leave home, they need the director, regardless of whether I have anything um, to add to their characters and so on. It gives them a comfort blanket, I think. I've got to say, it's when you get on stage and someone laughs at a, at a, at a line or a... It's kind of... It, that's a little bit of a kick. I love being able to try out so many different things and, and personalities and... and, and, and uh, play out different emotions and, and all, all of that. What I loved about it was the, how everybody gets on with it and gets together and works together and the whole teamwork. Are you ready for us, Maestro? Wow. Do you have anyone to help you learn your lines? My boy, and uh, my wife. Sorry, she doesn't know about my boyfriend. <clears throat> yes, my wife helps me. It's rude to speak with your mouth full. All my friends know that. A few days before opening night, the set is built at the Kerfig Term Theatre in the heart of Bern. Lights are tweaked and props put in place. This isn't fitting and if he throws it across the room it's going to leak all over the place. See, it doesn't fit. Oh, little glitches that happen. Put on the top hat. Tying up the white tie, brushing off the tail. It's opening night. Backstage, the actors prepare themselves mentally. Putting in the shirt stuff, polishing my name. I'm stepping out, my dear, to breathe an atmosphere that's it. Repeat after me. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. Kajer. Kayam. Oh, what a jerk I am. Good. What a jerk I am. I knew you were going to come up with something really low, below the belt. Get your whip out. Are you confident about your lines? Yes, very. Mm, did you do that? She says it now. <laughs> do you want to see some warm up exercise? Uh, it's pretty typical stuff. Like a lion. Ah! Mm. That's a lot of before we have audience. Five minutes to go. Very strong feelings for each other. That was hatred. You're hatred. <laughs> Do I make you nervous? No. Oh. Particularly. <laughs> Fire! Uh, uh, sorry, sorry. The gin bottle went up in the air. <laughs> Did anybody see it? <laughs> and as the curtains fall, the actors crack open the champagne. It's been a long, hard slog. Was it all worthwhile? The feedback we've had so far is that everyone's enjoyed it. So, and it's really, really, I think. I thought this cheers was right.